I'd like to show in a more playful way why the derivative of e to the power of x is also e to the power of x. Now, a certain number to the power of x is an exponential function, something like, for example, 2 to the power of x and then x on an interval from, say, minus 3 to 3 is a certain um, exponential function here. I can change 2, I can put in 3 and so on, it's always some kind of exponential function. I can also make the derivative of this exponential function, which is um, d and solved for x, and then this is the, the derivative. And of course this derivative is not equal to the function itself. But in an exponential function where the basis e has a, is a certain number, this is the case. The derivative is the same as the function itself. So why is this? And for this I made a little bit an interactive um, plot here. So this is the same exponential plot, the blue line. Now the red line here is the derivative in a for certain x value. And this is the, the slope of the, um, in this, in this, uh, for this certain x value, and this is the y value for a certain x. And a here is the basis of this function, and I can um, change a here or with this, with this slider here. Now I want to keep change at, for example, 3.15. And now I only want to change the x value. And then when I look at the, at, the, um, at the slope and at the y value, so this is the slope of the function, that's the y value of the function, so this is the derivative of the function, that's the function itself, then the function itself, uh, the derivative of the function is always higher than the y value. No matter what x value I have, you can see the, the slope is always higher than, so the derivative has always a higher value than the y value. Now, interestingly, if I change the basis to a much smaller number, something like maybe 2 or so, it's the reverse. The value of the slope is always smaller than the y value. No matter what x I choose, the slope is always, sm so the derivative is always smaller than the y value of the function itself. Now, one may wonder whether there is a certain number, a certain value for the basis a, at which the derivative and the function, so the, the, the um, value of the slope and of the y value, are equal. And then I change the a value a little bit to when these two values here, so, so these two values are getting closer. So I'm just moving this around a little bit. And then at some, some point, this looks quite good. So I keep it this way and check what happens. And in fact, the, uh, the derivative and the y value, so this the y value is the function itself, the slope is the, the value of the derivative, they are the same, no matter what kind of x I have. There might be some slight deviations now, but I might need to adjust the basis a little more to maybe 2.718, and now it fits. And now no matter, no matter what x I choose, the, the y value of the function equals the value of the derivative of the function, so of the slope in this x in, in a certain x value. And of course this number here, the basis a of the function, is the is what we assign to e. And this is well illustrated a little bit in in this um, well yeah playful way why the derivative of e um, to x is the same as the function e to x.